Cola. Put them pots on the stove and make that cola lean. Cola lean. Cola lean. But a knife, Pyrex, and make that cola lean. Cola lean. Cola lean. Put that dope on the stove and make that cola lean. Cola lean. Cola lean. But a knife, Pyrex, and make that. Yeah, man, like I say, man, United Ghettos of America Eye Candy, you know what I mean? That's coming out, you know, that's gonna be my, like, first little, you no, know, second DVD. My first one was Jeff Mouth Big Booty Stallings, you know what I mean? Shout out to Onyx Films, you know, Gabor, for giving me the opportunity to do my own whole, own porno movie, host my own shit, you know what I mean? So that was the first one I did, it did real good, you know what I mean? Shout out to my nigga Ron Hightower, he the real one that put me in the game. Ron Hightower, the nigga, you know, he's the porn star, he the one that shot the Tupac How Do You Want It explicit version. He the one that did a lot of shit back in the day, you know what I mean, as far as hip hop videos, and he, did, he was a porn star, you feel me? So, you know, he come back in the porn game, you feel me? He got at me like, yo, you know, I could damn near get you a deal where you can host your own shit. I was like, what? He was like, yeah, man, let's do it. So Ron took me over to the heat wave shit, you know, Onyx Films, and then he got me a deal, man. Shit, I went, I mean, one picture deal, you know what I mean? But still, I got a deal to host my own shit. So, um, we did it, man, me and Ron, you know, Ron filmed it, you know, got the girls together and shit, we knocked shit out like one or two days, you know, and it was done, man, we made history, and from there, other porn people seen me, other, um, other people seen me, you know what I mean, and, um, they were interested, but they didn't know how to get in contact with me, so one of my homegirls that's on United Ghetto, shout out to Pebbles, her name is now Treasure, she, I mean, Journey, <laughs> she changed the name to Journey, some shit like that, but anyway, shout out to Pebbles, because Pebbles shot me over to TT Boy at Invasive Angles, you know what I mean, and he already been doing hip-hop type porn videos with a, like a hip-hop rap video at the intro of the shit, he had people like Lil Flip on his shit, uh, Corrupt, and so on and so on, so, you you know, um, old girl walked me through his office and shit, hooked me up with dude, and instantly he was like, yo, man, let's, I'm ready, you know, I done seen your shit you did over there with Gabor, you know, the big booty stallions, I'm digging it, do the same type shit over here, so, um, you know, he had me do about five movies back to back, like, every fucking movie he had, I did it, like, five of them back to back, you know what I mean, so shout out to TT Boy and Invasive Angles for giving me the opportunity, you know, and just from being on the set for fucking with him, you know, I got a lot of footage, a lot of behind the scenes, a lot of shit like that, that's coming out on my DVD, um, United Girls Eye Candy, and from there on, I was like, yo, I just start my own porn company, I see how they put it together, they hide that talent, they, they use a camera like us, the little handheld camera, and they just edit the shit like how we edit our DVDs, you know what I mean, same how you edit this shit, they edit the porn, so, you know, got my own company, Godzilla Entertainment slash Asalai Films, you know, for the porn shit, <laughs> and, uh, shit, just look for that, uh, United Girls Eye Candy, you know what I mean, and then I'm coming with, uh, I ain't gonna tell you my titles, man, because <laughs> motherfuckers be stealing porn titles, as soon as you have a hot-ass title, Somebody gonna try to, like, literally, as soon as I start doing eye candy, it's been like about 20 fucking different eye candy titles for just the porn shit. I ain't never seen a porn movie that said eye candy until I went to the ABM Awards and had my camera and having people saying, give a shout out to United Ghetto Eye Candy. After I did that, about within two, three months later, it was about four fucking tapes that said whoop, 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 eye candy. DJ Yellow's Eye Candy. I mean, I'm for real, like, DJ Yellow had a whole different line of movies. Now it's Eye Candy, it's like, niggas be biting, so. I ain't putting out no more titles out there for you bum-ass white motherfuckers to bite. <laughs> Anything hood, but just know my line gonna be stupid, man. I fuck with the porn stars, man. From the females to the dudes, they fuck with me, man, you know what I mean? Straight up, they fuck with the kids, so. I'm about to start putting my own shit together, you know what I mean, putting them out, you know what I mean, soft, hard, <laughs> hard porn, soft porn, you know, all that shit, you know what I mean, like I said, man, I'm a hustler, man, so I'm a hustle all this shit, man, from the mixtapes to the DVDs to the, the, the albums to the clothing, all that shit, I'm doing it all, baby, Godzilla Entertainment, Yuck Mouth, so, yeah, we doing it. <laughs> Shout out to Ray J, that's my nigga. He probably be on my 
my new album too. Um, Ray J, boy, that's an interesting one, man. Cause <laughs> I mean, at the end of the day, man, I just take it like this, man. I can't do nothing but help that man. You feel me? At the end of the day, because niggas say all that shit about the R. Kelly shit, man. But at the end of the day, the bitches love that tape. <laughs> no mama. Yeah, I mean, we, we can say, oh, R. Kelly pissed on her, or R. Kelly did this. But you ask any bitch the same question, the bitch going, oh, I loved it. He, he ate the shit up the bitch pussy. I mean, so it's going to turn your player points up for the bitches, and that's all you want. Yeah, I mean, fuck with a nigga thing. You trying to fuck a bitch, not a nigga. So I think the bitch is going to love it. Yeah, you know I mean, oh, shit. I mean, and he fucking Kim, that's one of the baddest bitches in the game. Man, I think the nigga's going to love it, too, <laughs> just because it's that bitch. You feel me? So... I ain't got nothing against it, man. You feel me? Shit. I heard it, but the whole shit is I heard Brandy got one coming out now. <laughs> How that happened? They say Brandy got one coming out there. You hear that? Yeah, they say Brandy got one coming out now, man. They heard some other nigga, heard some nigga that's coming out on Atlantic Records or something. I don't know, but it's about to get wild, B. About to get very, very fucking wild, B. Like, yeah, you and your sister out there? Yo, that's wild, B. You know, you got a freaky family, man. You guys are real freaky over there. You know, real freaky. <laughs> but nah, I mean, I don't know, man. I, I hope Brandy shit look cool, man, because <laughs> she kind of skinny, man. Yeah, I, mean, I like some people with some thickness on them. You know what I mean? Straight up. But, um, yeah, man, I mean, at the end of the day, man, shit, bad publicity. It's all good for publicity, man, regardless what it is, man. Niggas talking about you, that's a good thing. When they stop talking about you, that's when you need to start wearing it. Straight up. Now all of a sudden, a nigga dead. Now everybody like, oh, Dre, Dre, woo, woo, we this, and we ghost riding the whip, and yada, yada, yada. But come on, that's, that was the nigga that was your enemy.